In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your WordPress website to send emails using the Zoho SMTP server. All you need is a business email address with Zoho Mail, so if you don't already have one, make sure you check out my Zoho email tutorial and then follow the steps in this video to set up SMTP on your website. Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, helping you build a better website. So after you've watched this video, you'll be able to use the Zoho SMTP server with your WordPress website. Any emails that get sent by your website won't go to the spam folder. So make sure you watch the video to the end so you know exactly what to do. And before I start, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos I release. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the growth of this channel and I really appreciate it. So with that out of the way, let's get on with this tutorial. So in a previous video, I showed you how to set up a business email address with Zoho Mail. And if you have a contact form on your website, or you have any users that sign up to your website, then you might have your website send emails to your users, or you might have your visitors fill out this contact form, and then you'll need to receive an email notification. And if you are using the default settings with WordPress, it will be sending the emails through the PHP mailer. And this is a very common uh, problem that happens with WordPress, where any emails that are sent from your server will go straight to the spam box. And in many cases, the emails don't send at all. So this is how you can use the Zoho's SMTP server. So what you need to do is install the WP Mail SMTP plugin and then the email address that you set up with Zoho email will need to go into this field just here. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to force the from email as well. And then I'm going to make my from email just my name. And then you need to select other SMTP. And then where it says SMTP host, um, I found the SMTP server details just here on the Zoho website. And I'll put these details in the description box below so you can copy those. And here's the host address. And then you want to select TLS and the server port is 587 which is this, just this one here. And then click on the authentication to on. And then the username and password is your email address and password that you created with Zoho. So once you put those details in there, you can click on save settings. And then you can click on the email test. I'm going to test this with my new email address. So pop your email address in this field here and then click on send email. So I can see that email has gone through and I'm just going to go over to my Zoho and the email address has come through as well. So that test was successful and I'm going to do another test from my contact form. Uh, this is a contact form I just created with the WP contact uh, form plugin. And I'm just going to fill this out with some random visitor details and submit the form and I can see that that email has come through as well I click on that and it tells me those details just here so that's uh, all successful the SMTP settings have been set up and I thought I'd just let you know about the email limits that can be sent through the SMTP server if you're using the free edition, then you can send up to 200 emails per day. And if you're using any of the paid editions, it's uh, 300 emails per day. And it gives you some more details here for the limits for mass emails. So the standard edition and uh, professional, you get more emails per day, depending on the edition that you're using. So I hope that video has helped, guys. If you have any questions at all, ask them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.